Imagine you were dating a sexy Greek guy who said it was such a turnoff that every time you went to go be intimate, you had to run to the bathroom first and poop or pee. And then while you were being intimate, you had to jump off and run to the bathroom to go poop or pee again. Because when you have something inside of you, it's pushing on your rectum and your bladder, forcing you to have a bowel movement, whether you make it to the bathroom or not. So then you just stop doing said activity altogether because the feeling alone of constantly having to have a bowel movement and go to the bathroom is not pleasurable. And it's really embarrassing in your relationship. Getting fucked is something that's important to me, so that alone is something I would obsess over so that I can enjoy that again. But then because of that, imagine the only happiness you get in this world is from food. But the only time you're not in pain is when you're hungry, so instead of being in pain, you go hungry, which causes hunger pain. So as a compromise, you go on an extremely restrictive six-week diet where you have to home make all your own food. You can't go out to eat anywhere, ever. And it helped a little, but not enough. So then for two and a half weeks, you went on a pure liquid diet of just soups and smoothies of five ingredients. No cake, no cookies, no pizza, no fucking raw, no happiness in this world. And it still wasn't enough. And then imagine for 48 hours, you haven't had anything. So you have no digestive pain at all. But instead... Your ears are ringing like a goddamn fire alarm, particularly when you try to walk to the bathroom, aka the only walking you do. It hurts to see, your head hurts, all your muscles and joints hurt, and it could be cured just by eating a big juicy roast beef. But if you did that, then you would be sitting on the toilet sweating and profusely shitting and then going into the bathtub beside that smoldering hot shit toilet to soak your asshole and your guts. And then you would repeatedly for three hours go in a circle between the toilet and the tub. And all you would be thinking is, Jesus, Lord, fucking God, how do I make this stop? So then you would research it and you would obsess over having health issues trying to find a diagnosis with literally anything at this point imagine getting in trouble at work because when you get your period you have to go home and you can't come to work because you are crying the pain is so bad you're crying on the bathroom floor and you can't stand or move or pick anything up imagine you got kicked out of university and fired from your job because you were in the hospital so much for said issues but I'm pretty sure most people who are obsessed with having health issues, it's probably just because they're sick and it consumes every part of their life. So their whole life is just about being sick. It's not really like optional. There's no opt-out program. I've been looking for it though. 